You are welcome to Dimension 9, and I'll be talking about wheezing disease. Wheezing disease. Wheezing disease is worldwide and is found in one in 25 to 35,000. The pathogenesis is essentially that it's a genetic disorder and autosomal recessive inheritance. There is defect in hepatocellular copper transports, and that will lead to accumulation of copper in liver and other tissues, including the brain. And that is the reason why we're going to have neural disorders. Excessive copper deposition in the liver will lead to liver failure. The diagnosis could be made clinically and is usually at a very young age, as young as six years old to about 40 years or sometimes about 35. There may be positive family history because I've already said that it's a genetic disorder. And you're going to find what we call cardiophlegia rings at the cornea of the affected individual. Still on diagnosis, it would be wise to have genetic testing done if there is first degree relative already diagnosed with wheezing disease or an individual is having liver disease with psychiatry disorders and some neurological problems like cognitive impairment then have genetic screening done right now let me repeat that this is a young individual with liver disease with some psychiatric disorders and cognitive impairment then it is wheezing disease until proven otherwise so, do genetic testing here. The laboratory investigation will involve serum seroplasmin level. You can ask it for the urinary copper and liver function test. Complete blood counts will be wise to be done, and clear facial rings will be examined with sleeve lamp. Liver biopsy will be good, and of course, outside of a pathobiliary system. Genetic screening, if there is positive family history, and even is composing the individual that is affected, just to be double sure. In addition to that, relatives of this very patient that is having wisdom disease should be screened so that they will know ahead of time and prevent what is preventable. The clinical feature will involve cognitive impairment. And that is why it is one of the differential diagnoses of dementia. That's possibility of seizure disorder, labor mood swinging um, between mania and depression, psychotic features, hallucination, delusions, and paranoia, and of course inappropriate behavior, and sometimes wrongly diagnosed as having schizophrenia. Choreoacetosis involving the lower limbs, face, and trunk that will be characterized with repeated contractions could be some of the features, and there's possibility of ataxia. Still on clinical features, like I've said from the beginning, is very common among the younger age group. So if a younger man or woman is done with dementia, psychosis, and liver problem, then rule out wisdom disease. It might be in older than six or 40 years, but within that age group, 6 and 40. There's possibility of liver failure and particularly acute liver failure. There may be hepatitis and cirrhosis. Steatosis, psychiatric disorder like personality changes, 
with behavioral problems, and depression, and of course with liver mood and irritability. Still on clinical features, okay, facial rings in cornea is pathognomonic of wisdom disease. There is likelihood of kidney stones, you know, that is nephrolytiasis, or myopathy and pancreatitis. The treatment will involve penicillamine or trentine for life. And you can prevent what is preventable, like I've said just a few minutes ago, by making sure you are not taking a lot of copper if there's positive family history and you have genetic screening down. Okay, and you're going to watch against that by taking care that you don't eat nuts, mushrooms, lobsters, dark chocolate, liver, shellfish, and dry fruits. The main treatment that will be helpful for the affected person here, besides the penicillamine or trentine, is liver transplantation. And of course, anyone on this medication that is penicillamine or trentine is going to have it for life, like I've just said. In conclusion, accurate diagnosis is vital. There will be more on dementia. This is dementia 9. Please watch out for dementia 10. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Kindly subscribe so that you can get these presentations immediately they are published. Thank you.